totally messed up the video. So I did a short clip video and I'm gonna I mark it as my introduction, okay? It's gonna cut off, it's gonna be quick, it's short, but I still wanna keep what I was saying because I don't wanna have to repeat myself. So you're gonna get three videos tonight, okay? It's okay. Let's get back to it. Kisses to all of you. Let's start it off. Every video has to have the theme song. It's the Megan Show. It's the Megan Show. It's the Megan Show. Oh, 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 yeah. Kisses. Don't forget to hit like, share, and hit that subscribe button, guys. We got 3,000. I'm trying to see if I can collaborate with some people. Um, I did reach out to a YouTuber, so we'll see. She has some followers, but she talks about Megan, too. She has about 5,000 followers, so I figured me and her could collaborate together. Maybe we could get something going on. I don't remember her name. Fiona. I think her name is um, Rhonda. Her name is Rhonda. That That's it. It's um, something about Rhonda, okay? Anyway. Let's get to it. Kisses to you. Don't forget to leave a comment. That's because I want to respond. I have something to say. Sorry for my spelling and miss having my words a little jumble, but I don't go back and read it over because I'm, I'm, I want to make sure that I have time to write for everyone. So, you know, think of it as me trying to have a chit chat with you. Kisses. And thanks for my tip jar. And also thank you for my super stickers. <laughs> super chats. They were popular. When you, when you fall out with the web, love okay, it. Okay, so I'm going to start him still over. Still get paid millions of dollars for he doing that. starts the joke. Nothing. The loser. And that's just by Netflix. Let's recap. Megan's a loser. And then he's on here, the comedian, is reminding us that they're getting paid to do nothing. And the CEO that's paying him is looking at him laughing in the audience. And while the CEO and the audience is laughing and and while the comedian is making jokes, everybody else is looking around and saying, ooh, I'm not going to hire them. I don't want them attached to my brand. Uh-uh, we're good. No, we don't want to collab with her. They don't want to collaborate with Megan. There's not going to be any collaborations. There's not going to be any deals. There's not going to be any, um, there's, there's nothing there. It's over. Megan has managed managed to lose all her job prospects. She doesn't have talent enough to come out and do something else on her own that we can see that would make her a superstar. And now we're just sitting back watching the fall. Because Megan wasn't even at the awards, but she was being talked about. Let's move on. Let's hear the joke one more time. Why not? The Lady C and uh, Phil still get paid millions. The Lady C and uh, Phil D. Let's talk about Harry and Meghan, the butt of jokes at the Golden Globes last night. Take a listen. Uh, turns out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will still get paid okay. millions of dollars for doing absolutely nothing. And that's just by Netflix. Spotify already got rid of you. Uh, talented comedian host Joe Coy also pointed uh, the finger at and made a bit of fun about Harry scrambling around for cash. How great was a Melba Stanton? Roasted. Uh, wasn't she amazing? The portrayal of the queen was so good, Prince Harry called her for it and asked her for money. Like I said, I didn't write all these. Oh dear, how do you think that will be going down in Montecito, Phil? They won't be happy, will they, the, the royal couple? Uh, they, they won't be happy. When, when you start to become figures of ridicule, uh, you are... Figures of ridicule. That's why we left off last time. They're being ridiculed. They're being talked about. They're being laughed at. They're being joked at. You don't want to be a jokester. Oh, I got a great piece of candy. You don't want to be a jokester. You don't want to be... You don't want to be a jokester. You don't want to be laughed at. You don't want to be the butt of people's jokes. You don't want to be talked about, laughed at, ridiculed, ridiculed, and mistreated pretty much. You don't want to be the butt of jokes in front of millions of people. A lot of people watch that show. Look it up. It is no joke. They are really on skid road here. 
<laughs> it's so bad. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't have happened a couple of years ago when they first went out there. They were popular. And when you, when you fall out with the woke lovers and they're starting to take the mickey out of you, you know that uh, your star has fallen, I'm afraid. So, uh, yeah, now this follows on from South. Your star has fallen. Ooh. Part, doesn't it? And a couple of other programs that have, um, you know, berated them and... Uh, Everyone's laughing there. Everyone's just regarding them as figures of fun. And I think this year is, you know, it's going to be a real turning a point. A figure of fun. People think that they are a figure of fun. They don't take her seriously. They don't take what she says. She doesn't have anything intelligent to say that we would take seriously. Because when she does open her mouth, what does she talk about the most? What's, you know, when, when she wants us to hear what's going on, who and what is she talking about? She is talking about the royal family and how they have done her so wrong. Like, that's her story. And she can't get away from it to the point, and I have to bring this up, Obed Scoby was, um, wrote a book and put two names in there that Megan recommended. I heard he was in L.A., he walking around in L.A. Yes, he has moved to L.A., but they don't know each other. Oh, okay. So Megan thinks we're stupid. But look, you are the butt of jokes now. What are you going to do about this? How are you going to get your name from being a jokester on the world stage? This is just like the CBS show, the interview the Megan and, and uh, Oprah's interview. That's how many people watch the Golden Globe Awards. It is a very big show. Some of them will probably say, well, you know, he didn't have to say that about her or whatever the case may be. But he was telling it how he see it. Let's move on. Well, I think unless they pull something out of the bag, uh, they are in for a bit of a nosedive. They're going to oh, have to pull something. They star is not is sh not shining anymore. They sunshine is not shining anymore. And now they need to pull something out of the bag to make something work because they are falling from grace. They have fallen. There's nothing there, which is unthinkable. Imagine. Imagine like... The thing, the main reason why you came to Hollywood was to be branded, and now it's all over. It's all over now. You won't be able to be branded. People are laughing at you. They don't even take you seriously. You're a joke. You won't be able to get a job because people don't think that you're talented enough to do it. But just because you're the Duchess of Sussex, people have figured out that it's not enough. Well, well, how might that briefly, Phil, how would that manifest a, a bad year? What could happen? Are we talking financial problems? Are we talking marriage on the rocks? All of it. All of the well, above. Think, well, they've lost their Spotify thing, haven't they? They've run out of items of Netflix. The money's not flowing in. Unless... He said they have lost Spotify and Netflix is, is what it is. And there is no income flow flowing in. There's no flow of income. There's no money flowing into the bank. There's not no constant stream of money, which is what they need to be able to live the lifestyle that they're living because of the expenses that they have. But there is nothing coming in. And so you can't tell me that they're not over there fighting and being arguing about money problems. Mm -hmm. Because the only reason Harry was agreed to do any of this stuff is because he said that they needed money. He he this is how the story this is how Megan put the story in Harry's head. He said this is what she said. She said your family has taken security away from us and the money. And so now we got to fend for ourselves. And so since we got to fend for ourselves, Harry, then we need to get on Oprah and the rest of these things and talk about what really happened with us. Tell our side of the story. Because people don't hear our side. They're going to think that we're in the wrong. And so she convinces him and manipulates him into thinking that the best way to go about making money is to decimate and defame your the royal family, the one that made her famous. Why 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 
she is being talked about at the Globe Awards because before she wouldn't even be mentioned. I don't know if she's that upset about it because she's probably glad that her name was mentioned, but she doesn't like the way it was mentioned. But he used a lot of Harry and Meghan jokes. No, this does not get her deals. This does not get her bank accounts fatter. Just like this gentleman is saying, he said, the money is, has to be a constant flow, a constant flow of money. If there's not a constant flow of money, then there is a problem and that we can't afford this house. So A, let's put it up for sale and move, move on. Or B, get back on and write a memoir to trust the family because she's going to need some type of income, something to be able to continue to be in Montecito. And she's not leaving Montecito. She's not leaving California. Oh, no. Her babies are being born and bred there. And so she's saying that she needs a job. She needs a deal. But this doesn't help her deals. This ridicule and being the butt of jokes. They come up with some really good money-making schemes. They've got to pull something out of the bag. Uh, they are in for a bit of a nosedive. Oh, well, well, how might that briefly, feel? How would that manifest a, a bad year? What could happen? Are we talking financial problems? Are we talking marriage on the rocks? Well, I think, well, they've lost their Spotify thing, haven't they? They've run out of items at Netflix. The money's not flowing in. Unless they come up with some really good money-making schemes, they've got all the security to pay for and all, all sorts of, you know, running... Unless they come up with some more money-making schemes. They had Netflix, they had Spare, and they had Spotify. They had three deals. They had three major deals. And two was gone, and, uh, maybe, because they need more content. That's what's going on. And so they don't have any more. And the only thing they have is Megan lying. Because if she hadn't went to the coronation, she could have write a, wrote a story about the coronation. But since she decided to take herself out of the family, because she's under other, she's not your royal highness. Megan is not your royal highness. We do not need to be bowing down to her because she doesn't hold, her, her title doesn't hold the weight it should, especially anymore. Oh. So I really think they've got to get hold of something to make some money. Otherwise, they are in trouble. And uh, at the moment, there's nothing on the horizon. If they don't get their act together, they're going to be institution. They're going to be in, in some trouble. If they don't get the deals they need and start working it and start going back to work to make money, I'm gonna let him say it. They're in trouble. All the security to pay he for said all, all trouble. sorts of you know running costs. So I really think they've got to get hold of something to make some money. Otherwise, they are in trouble. And uh, at the moment... Otherwise, they are in trouble. What is Megan going to do when the money starts to slip away? Because she's buying all these expensive clothes. You know, she changed like a billion times when she was at the Invictus Games. And I don't know who's her dressing her, but they need to rethink it. But my question is, is that they're in trouble. He said it. If they don't hurry up and figure out what they're going to do financially and what deals they're going to make, but they're not going to be able to get deals when they're being joked about and talked about on TV. No, you can't get a deal if your brand is is deemed what it is. Ooh, she's in some trouble. She's in trouble. She's in trouble. He said it. What are they going to do? Are they going to go get a farm and, and, and get his trust fund and go live off that? Or have they spent that yet? On the horizon. How bad could things... All the security to pay for and all, all sorts of, you know, running costs. So I really think they've got to get... All sorts of running costs. Cost for this, the cost for that. When we moved it into our home, I was like, oh my God. Because it's not just... You have to upkeep the home. And so in order to do that, you have to put money into it constantly. You're working for your home, but in a sense. But what I'm trying to say is, is that Megan and Harry doesn't have a constant flow of money. No one's clicking on Megan's picture at WME saying that they want her to speak on behalf of a school. We'll pay her X amount of money to do it. When is the last time or if Megan has had a speech? I don't remember that. 
her popularity is in the toilet. She doesn't have any fans. The Sussex Squad doesn't count. And she doesn't have any deals. Her and Harry's relationship is on the rocks because they're having financial difficulties because there's not a stream flow, stream of money. Remember when Megan wanted us to know that she had $8 million in the bank from her charity? That tells me that she just wants to say that, listen, I have money. We're not broke. But we not saying that you broke, but you're not, you don't have a constant flow of money. You don't have this constant flow of finances that you need. No, your gravy train has stopped. Spotify kicked you to the curb. Netflix is sitting there laughing at you. They know they're going to let you go. And WME can't brand you. They can't brand her. She's not brandable. Some things bring some money, otherwise they are in trouble. And uh, at the moment, there's nothing on the horizon. How bad will people pull something out of the bag? Uh, they are in for a bit of a nosedive. And figures of ridicule, uh, you are in trouble. I mean, that wouldn't have happened a couple of years ago when they first went out there. They were popular. And when, you, when you've fallen out with the woke loveys and they're starting to take the mickey out of you, you know that uh, your star has fallen, I'm afraid. So, uh, yes, you know, this follows on from South Park, doesn't it? And a couple of other programs that have, um, you know, berated them. And uh, everyone's laughing there. Everyone's just regarding them as figures of fun. And I think this year is, that, 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 you know, it's going to be... A everybody's laughing. Everybody sees them as a figures of fun. You don't want to be the butt of jokes. She's the butt of jokes. People are laughing at her. We're laughing at you, not with you or for you or beside you or together with you. We are laughing at you, at you in a sense where you don't want to be talked about like that. You don't want to be laughed at. You don't want to be ridiculed. You don't want to be treated like uh, humility. Like you're not even taking, they're not taking you seriously anymore. This is how bad her reputation is. Let me say that again. No one is taking Megan seriously anymore. So her word, her, the value of what she says is so weak that it won't hold up. Her words aren't doesn't show any value. No one's knocking on her door talking about, will you speak at my college this weekend and we'll pay you uh, um, $500,000 to speak? No. There's no gigs coming in. If it was, she would tell us. Because she wants us to know that she's thriving. That she's doing a whole lot better over here in the United States than she was in the UK. I heard, too, that she was um, upset with the king because she was, she was treated differently than Catherine. And I, I, she was treated differently. She was treated better. Than Catherine. Okay. I might need to wrap this up, guys. A turning point for them. I think unless they pull something out of the bag, uh, they are in for a bit of a nosedive. A nosedive. Unless they pull something out of their hat, they bag, out of Megan's Rolodex, she should have went to the premiere tonight. That way they can reboot suits because she need all the money she can get. She still thinks that she's a star. And people love her all over. I don't know what YouTube channel she's watching. Mm -mm. <laughs> Do you? No. Because everybody's saying the same thing. They have, they're treated with ridicule. They're being laughed at and jokes. They're jokes. So what I say, it doesn't, it falls on deaf ears because I'm a joke. Nobody takes me seriously. Nobody takes my word seriously. It's like, I'm just talking. That's what Megan is doing. She's, when she does talk, she's just talking. She has nothing to Briefly, offer. Phil, how would that manifest a, a bad year? What could happen? Are we talking financial problems? Are we talking marriage on the rocks? Well, I think, well, they've lost their Spotify thing, haven't they? They've run out of items of Netflix. The money's not flowing in. Unless they come up with some really good money-making schemes, they've got all the security to pay for and all, all sorts of, you know, running costs. So I really think they've got to get hold of something to make some money. Otherwise, they are in trouble. And uh, at the moment, there's nothing on the horizon. How bad could things get for the couple, Lady Colin Campbell? Oh, I can guarantee they're going to get an awful lot worse. Wait until spring. They have a, they have a real bomb coming their way in spring.
uh, I think I think they are going to be completely exposed before this summer. Let me put it this way. But, Colin, Lady C, what do you think about the Golden Globes? Maybe she'll tell us tomorrow in her segment. Let's move on. I think they are going to be in such deep trouble. It's she got some news. nothing that we can imagine. Wow. I think the chickens are coming home to roost Ooh. in a very big way. In a uh, brief thing, you're, 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 uh, you're, you're speculating wildly, but what, what do you mean, ladies? What, say? ladies? Uh, see? What might happen? Well, I'm afraid I can't say. So no, then why say it? Believe me. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about, okay. and I know who's going wait. to drop the bomb. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, look, I hope you'll be here to commentate on it. My thanks to the royal dream team of Phil Dampier and Lady C. Thank you guys for that. I want to do... Let me see if I have time to do one more, okay? Okay, so this is George the Giant Slayer and Atwood, Sean Atwood. We're going to listen to what they got to say real quick, and if they have any more, we'll dig into it too. If anyone would have an affair, I would... Definitely, probably lean towards. So he's talking about if Megan or Harry had, which one would have an affair? My guess would be Megan versus Harry. I would lean more towards Megan would be doing it. I just think Harry at this point, for whatever reason, if he yeah, I just for for me for Harry, he's all in. I think that he's committed to this relationship. I think Megan is not. Always like this. He portrays himself more like as a box wine beta male right now. Like, mm -hmm. let me just do what I'm told. Yes, yeah. please. Thank you. You know. He said, let me just do what I'm told. So when Megan tells him something to do, he's going to do it. He's going to do what he's told. Because the best thing for him is to not shake anything up at home and do anything that's going to, you know, cause attention towards himself. So she can start arguing and blaming him for not, for whatever reason. So. Doesn't have that very alpha quality. No. Not that alpha super. He doesn't have an alpha quality. This is coming from an alpha quality man, I, I'm assuming. But he doesn't have that alpha quality. That's what happened when he didn't stand up to Megan. He didn't have the quality to do it. He didn't have the, the, the know-abouts or the how to stand up to her and make sure that he set the tone. You married into my family. You wanted to do this. And now you're ready to go? Well, if you go, we're going to divorce and we're going to have to share custody of the child. So that means you're going to have to stay in here in the UK. Or even if he came over here, I still would have said, mm -mm. he is not the alpha man. And unfortunately, Harry misses it. Like my sister said, and I said this before, like he doesn't. He, he, it's his fault. He could stop this. He could put a stop to this. But he won't because he's not strong enough. He's not strong enough. It's not that he doesn't want to stop the madness. He just can't. He just doesn't have it in him. He's not qualified to... He doesn't have the manhood <clears throat> to be able to stand up against her. Just not happening. Not affairs, but the he's fact not that an alpha man. Right like, let me just do what I'm told. Yes, please, thank you. You know, doesn't have that very alpha quality. Not that alphas should go have affairs, but the fact that he's right. going to carve his own path. Like, I'm unhappy. I want to break away. I'm done. You know, I stayed for the kids, but this yeah. environment is more toxic for them and causing more damage. I just don't see him anymore as someone who blazes his own trail. So I would think it would I don't see him as anyone that blazes his, his own trail. In other words, Harry doesn't make decisions for himself anymore. She, Megan makes the decisions for him. And then when she makes the decisions for him, then he'll do exactly what she tells him to do. He doesn't have that alpha man. Um, he doesn't have the alpha man. So he just goes along to get along. And he doesn't, he doesn't have any dreams or gold for himself anymore is because he's under Megan's dreams and goals and umbrellas. Now it's all about Megan. So he had to align himself up with Megan and her shenanigans. And now that he's under her shenanigans, he is just goes along with it. He's not strong enough to fight her, fight her off or to stop this. He just goes along to get along. Mm -hmm. No, nope, he could have, he could have stopped her 
a long time ago. He should have stopped Mexit. He should have said, listen, you just moved here. You just decided you wanted to be my wife. Now you don't want to do it anymore? Oh, okay. Maybe we need to get this marriage annulled. And then when we get it annulled, we need to talk about parenting rights. No, that's not what Harry did. Harry went along with the lie. I just don't think that Harry could come up with as much stuff as Megan has tied him to. The book, the spare, the, the Oprah, that was all Megan's setup. But then she wanted Harry to come out and make announcements how it wasn't her, her idea, but it was all Harry's idea. I'll take the grunt of it. Her more than him, and she would blame it on him and his drugs. I think that's what her ultimate. I think she allowed spare to happen as her greatest offense to not only get the kids but to get as much as she wants in the wars. Mm -hmm. the yep, the there kids. it is. Not only get the kids, but get as much money as she can in a divorce. Megan is going to get paid. See, they're going to, they're, if no more money is to be made, they're going to start arguing about the money, and then Megan's going to start blaming Harry. It's his fault that the marriage is going to the toilet. And then since it's his fault, she's going to fight him for the kids regardless. She's going to say that he's on drugs, he's doing this, he's doing that, and he's just going to be looking straight ahead. You got markled. Hopefully he's strong enough to fight so that he can see.